guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little Q&A slash get ready with me with a very special guest. Her Instagram is going to be right here and in the description if you guys would like to go check her out. We're going to jump right into the video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember to tell your cousins, your friends, your family, your tias, your tios, your abuelos, your abuelas, your bisabuelos, everybody. So we'll be jumping right into the video right over here. Okay. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna start off by asking the very first question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So the very first question, I don't know if I should go in order of my list or just ask them random. Um, just go random, like first random? I have like basic questions and then I get deep questions. Yeah, right? Okay, so the first one. Okay, this is like a very personal question, right? Okay. But honestly, did you ever think of having um, children with my brother with him or like just in general like with with no him? with him like with like because you guys started um your relationship off very young yeah okay so let me just say this we were fifth oh, i was 15 he was 17 so at that age i wasn't really even thinking about kids or you know anything like major plus yeah. we met on facebook <laughs> so <laughs> i remember so i remember at first no being completely honest and he'll say the same thing we didn't think this relationship was really gonna go anywhere oh for real yeah um but after you know after like a couple months or whatever yeah um uh, yeah i did see uh, a future with him that's crazy because so. now you have two like two uh, like that's two, crazy two kids. okay okay so that was a good one. We started off with the good one. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. So. Okay, now your turn. Your turn. <laughs> so yours would be, do you hope to be famous one day? Famous. Yeah. No. I don't hope to be famous. I just hope to um, kind of um, be known a little bit, but just kind of like put a smile on people's faces. No, mm -hmm. Be known, but like that. Like, mm -hmm. oh, she's the girl that I see, like, then she puts a smile on my face, like, uh -huh. you know, like, yeah, like, but I don't, I, I don't expect to be um, mm -hmm. famous, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think, um, I would get up to, to, to that, to that level to be famous. Who knows? Yeah, that's true, Who knows? that's true, that's true, Bye. watching, um, Adrian Baylon, mm -hmm. and she's a very, um, she's a very different YouTuber. And, and she's a, I don't know, she's an inspiration. Like, she, she talks to you um, about God. She doesn't hide that she's a Christian. Like, she's very open about her religion. And as well, she's herself. Like, mm -hmm. she's herself. Like, she's a very, she's a fashionista. She comes out in the real, like, yeah. like you know, like, that's crazy. But, okay, next question. Next question. Next question, because then we're, we're going to stay stuck. So, next question from me to you, okay, is... Uh, would you ever do a YouTube channel? Um, I think maybe in the future, maybe in the future, like, maybe like a year or two. I, not, not so far out in the future, but you know, not now. Okay, okay. Um, I think I would, but I would do it like a family channel, like a family, oh, like, family oriented. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and also I was thinking about like maybe like a mom channel oh, because that I do you. have two kids yes. I do have two kids yes. um, so maybe like like cooking and vlogging with the kids um, my oldest will start school soon so maybe how like it? how that is yeah um, everything like school related okay something like that that would be awesome That'd be awesome. Hopefully in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's your turn. Um, I forget. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. I saw this one on Google. <gasps> oh, okay. It's like, it's like not your average question. Okay, My if you could have lunch with somebody, dead or alive, who would it be? Dead or alive? Could be famous, could be a relative, it could be if, if anybody. Okay, repeat the question. If you could have lunch with somebody, uh -huh. dead or alive, who would it be? If I could have lunch with somebody, dead or alive, who could it be? Um, 
I have like a lot. I don't know. Oh my god, that's like a sensitive question. I don't know why. <laughs> um, dead or alive? I think. Um, I've never thought of it like that, but I, w I would think um, my grandma, the one that I never got to meet. Yeah. Damn, that's sensitive. That's and hard. You, know what's funny? <laughs> you hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, you know what's crazy? It would be my grandma too. That's the crazy. One that away yes, huh? yeah, I, my I, I never got to meet my grandma from my mom's side, and um, yeah, um, so I think with her because I would, I would like to know that my other grandma, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That was, a, that was a touchy one. That was a touchy one. Okay, my turn, my turn. If you were invisible for one day, what would what would you do first? Spy on my boyfriend. Spy on <laughs> You hear that, Ellie? She's going to spy on you. That's on Toxic Girlfriend. <laughs> spy on um. my boyfriend. <laughs> no, but it's going to be uh, like, I need to see if he's faithful. No, I'm just kidding. No, um. I don't know. What would you do? I got you thinking, come on! I got you thinking, come on! Spy on him! Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, does. okay. That's a good one, that's a good one. Spy on him. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I was... Okay. Okay, I've never done my makeup and done questions before, so this is hella hard, okay? I know, it's hard to This is hella hard. Um, What's your favorite memory of us two together? Of us two together. Yeah. Memory. Memory, what's your favorite? I would think, and it, and it's not only you, it's with Alex too. It's how, how much we used to go out together, how much fun, remember? When yeah. we went to um, Newport and we were acting <laughs> like if Tell we were Titanic. Tell me why, I, I, I was <laughs> Oh, I, I, I was typing that question. I was thinking. You see, that. you see, that was like the that was. Oh my God! Remember that day? Like we were ourselves, Val. Like that was so fun. we were ourselves. Like we would go out. Everybody was looking at. Us. Dude, I remember there was a cop. Mm -hmm. Remember the cop? Yes, that was so fun. <laughs> it yeah. was like what, like two. In the morning? Yes, it's because we were like nocturnal, huh? Mm -hmm. That's how you say it? Nocturnal. 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 Okay, so, uh, yeah, we used to go out. Oh my gosh, remember, Val? Like, remember when we went to Red Lobster? Remember? Our anniversary. Yes. Our anniversaries fall on the same day, so we used to go to Red. We, we, we used to celebrate it together, go to the beach. That day we went to the beach, huh? Wasn't it the same day? The yeah, wasn't it? Then? Did we go to Newport that same day? I don't think so. No, it was Venice. It was, no, that, that day that we celebrated that we went to Red Lobster, we went to uh, Santa Monica. Remember? Oh, yeah, you're right. We you're went right. to Santa Monica. You're right. And, oh my God, that day we went to Santa Monica. We went on the rides. We went to Red Lobster. Like, we used to spend a lot of time together. A lot, a lot. And then what happened? And then I had kids. <laughs> and then she had kids. Had kids. So then... That went away. And then, okay, so my turn. My turn, right? Okay, yeah. Is it my turn? Okay. Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the, the, the memory. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, last lie you said and worst lie you have said. The last lie? Yes. Last lie you Does said. Does it count if I lied to my kids? Yeah. It, it could be okay. tiny. It could be tiny. Just last lie you said and then worst lie you said. Okay. Last lie I said was that there was no more Cheetos. <laughs> Like literally five minutes ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to Silas? Yeah. <laughs> the worst lie I said. <laughs> Probably that I wouldn't tell somebody something and then I actually told somebody something. Oh, that happens. It <laughs> happens. Because when you say something, like if you tell, say, say I told <sighs> you something and then you told your husband, does that count? <laughs> Does that count as it, not telling somebody? It depends. It depends because I feel like um, it shouldn't count because I'm the type of person that you're not supposed to, I'm not supposed to be saying or they're not, I'm not supposed to be telling somebody something, but I will tell my husband. Because that's how I am. Like, you know? If somebody tells me something and it's like something like important or something. Yeah. Or like that somebody's like feeling some type of way, then yeah. I will tell 
boyfriend to like kind of like see yeah. if that if that if he can like yeah. talk to that person yeah, or like, exactly. make him feel different yeah i'm the same way i'm the same way like if i see that somebody like you need a little bit more like um of uh like if i feel like i like my advice wasn't helpful he, enough yes like if you think like the, the um they need like a more um oh my gosh it might the the name slipped my mind but a wise a more wise advice yeah, huh? yeah. yeah i'm the same exact way like i i won't tell i uh, like michael doesn't count as not telling him so when somebody tells me don't tell someone it doesn't include my husband <laughs> same here it doesn't include my husband because i won't tell anybody else <laughs> yeah i won't tell anybody else like i won't like i won't tell like like it's a secret it's a secret you know but not from my husband because my husband is my best friend my significant you know my significant other the one that i can talk to and he can give me like a way better advice than i would yeah you know okay so whose question is it because we got stuck on out okay go okay if you could if you could have a paid vacation like all expenses paid where would you go and all expenses paid all expenses Ah, oh, yes. Um, I think I would go to um Hawaii. My 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 um sister and brothers and my mom are going in in Maybe July. In yeah, they're going in July and they invited me to go. And then ah, the plans didn't plan out as we thought they would. But it's okay. I'll go next time. Mm -hmm. But we all have to go next. Time. Yeah, but I think Hawaii. Imagine or like you know where you know how they have those um hotels that are like in the ocean and the ocean is like hella blue where you can um, like Bora Bora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where you can like see the ocean. At sometimes even little sharks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, right there. I think I go to Australia. 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 You know where Michael has wanted to go? Yeah. Um, to Melbourne, Australia. Really? Yeah, that's where he's been wanting to go. Like he says that. Um, as soon as he can travel, like he wants to go to Melbourne, Australia. Australia is like my dream. For real? But is it really that pretty? Yeah, well, the sorry, beaches? no offense, right? Oh my gosh, they're really? Amazing, yeah. Oh wow, I've, 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 I haven't seen it like that because Michael's like, he's like all in shock about Bora Bora saying that, no Bora Bora. <laughs> um, what is it called? Melbourne? Uh huh. Um, because he says it's beautiful and i'm and and i do not see it i you know what i would imagine um um what is it called <gasps> madagascar oh <laughs> that's a horrible um thing to think huh okay okay now now next to, to the next question to the next question um what can we do uh next question next question how do you feel being a wife and mom at a young age? And what advice would you give oh young goodness. moms? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I got some good ones. Um, and what advice would you give young moms that want that are that are moms and some that are planning to be moms at a young age? Okay. So first part of the question: How does it feel being like a wife and a and a wife and a mom at a young age? Yeah. Okay. So one, it's stressful. It's stressful, so stressful, but it's so rewarding. Of course. It's so rewarding because, um, honestly, when I was younger, I'm not doing makeup, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, forgot. it happens, it happens to um, the best of us. And, and for me, I'm forgetting what steps I have to do next. <laughs> I know what you do. I was like, wait. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. Okay, so it's, it's rewarding. <clears throat> It's stressful because of the fact that one, you're young yourself, um, and it's like a basically for any any mom, no matter the age, it's a learn as you go process. Yeah. Uh, but imagine like you, you're um, you barely turned 21, right? 22. 22. 22. 22. I apologize. She's my sister-in-law. I know her age. Okay. I just <laughs> forgot. <laughs> 22. And um, cause you had the first uh, Silas at what age? 19. Yeah. 19 and how was it for you at 19 it was well in this case it was kind of a bit easier because of the fact that i used to take care of my siblings mm -hmm. i never took care of a baby but i used to take care of them so i obviously knew like you got the some, practice some steps some yeah practice. yeah some steps uh but I was going with 
but that <laughs> it's okay. You can um, start over. It's okay. Okay, so that that's the stressful part. Um, the rewarding part is obviously like like watching half of you and half of the person that you love like grow up. Mm -hmm. You know, learning different things, accomplishing different things. Um, my youngest just learned how to walk. Mm -hmm. um, yes, he did. My little papas. Yeah. Um, basically, the, it's like every step that they take in life is just like so rewarding. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Um, the advice I would give is, I mean, it sounds bad, but it doesn't sound bad. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's just live your life a little bit more. Okay. Because um, it is rewarding, but at the same time, it's like you also have this other person or people, depending on how many kids you want to have, um, mm -hmm. to look after. Like you can't just drop everything and just say, hey, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to the beach today. Yeah, like you have to. Now you you have two. Yeah. You have little ones to mm -hmm. depend on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, unless you're the type of person that you want to take that little person with you everywhere, which in my case, um, they don't do anything without me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's my advice. Just like live your life, or yeah, the most that they can, right? Yeah, the most that you can. Okay. Okay, so. My question to you would be, do you have any names for your future children? Well, first off, how many kids do you want? Okay. And what would their names be if they're not a secret? Okay. Um, they're not a secret to my family. <laughs> they're a secret to the public. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can tell me off camera. Yeah, I can tell you off camera. I can tell you off camera. And the, um, the amount of kids that I plan on having, um, I think it's going to be two. Two? It's gonna be two, yeah, because um, Mike already has three of his own, so um, I think two more to the family um, will be enough. Because imagine we get more, like I think that would be like a whole soccer team right there, like them, like all twelve, of, like you know, no, like um, yeah, just two, and then I'll tell you the names later. <laughs> Do you hope for like a boy or a girl? Obviously, as long as the baby's healthy, but. I wouldn't mind as long as the baby's healthy, like you say, but I do um, pray that I want a girl first. Girl, me too. But I have two boys. You see, so oh, hold on, girl, I can't, I can't multitask. Okay, so I want a girl. I really want a girl. I want a girl so bad. Uh, and imagine it's just another little you. You know, it's a little you. That's what it is. It's a little you. So I want a girl. But at the same time, because it, once I tell you the, my baby's names, like you're gonna love them. You're gonna love them and you're gonna understand. But that's why I want either if it's a girl and a boy, or a girl, a, a, a girl, a girl, a, girl, a boy, or and a girl. Uh -huh. But I want the little um, pair. Right. Like right. I really, I really want the pair because um, I already chose their names. I don't think you've ever told me. I think I know I, the I, girl no, name. No, I haven't. I haven't told you yet. I, I have no, the girl name. I don't think so. I don't think so because I. It's I, not the one that everybody. Everybody wanted. No, it? no, no. No. Okay. No, no, no. We switched it. It's crazy because I yeah. thought that that was gonna be because my mom has always uh, the name that she's talking about is Kimberly. My mom has. Uh, she always wanted another girl, uh, and she wanted to name her Kimberly. She just didn't get the chance. She got two boys instead. So we always said that we were if we had a girl we were gonna put Kimberly just for the sake of my mom. But to be honest, <laughs> I switched that opinion now. <laughs> so now Jasmine is gonna... <laughs> so now Jasmine can keep it. She can keep it. My twin sister, she can keep it. Okay, so is it my turn now? Yeah. Is it my turn? Okay. Um, I don't think I got all the questions. Let me see. Da -da 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one juicy one. Okay, ready? Okay. What was your first impression of me? I have the same question. <laughs> And, and and especially since you like you said you and you make me young, huh? Cause you were 15, I was 18. You're three years older than me. Yeah, 18. 18. 18. Yeah, cause I was barely start. I I had barely started working, so I remember I was 18. But okay. what was your first impression at me of me? First impression, uh, honestly, I yeah. couldn't tell you were Jasmine apart. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> that I remember. That I, I remember. Couldn't. Cause I remember Alex would tell us that you were having a hard time. Figuring out, I, you like you guys would be sitting there and be like, "Is that what I'm doing?" <laughs> I don't know if That's good because, huh? Like in that in that time, we we had the almost the same body type, no? 
Yeah, you guys look a lot alike. Yeah, like, me and Jasmine like, were like I don't like know if it's just me, but I can tell you guys apart. Yeah, yeah. Really. It's, but it's I know different. a lot of people can't. Like my mom, she like she can't tell yeah, you guys apart. Yeah, like she still has a hard time. Mm-hmm. I know that's true. That's but I think it's because it's, I think it's because <laughs> I think it's because <laughs> I've known you guys for so long now. Oh. But um. Yeah, I think so too. The first impression I know, uh, basically both of you guys was that you guys are super super like welcoming and polite oh, like very very polite thank you because i always had this fear like meeting so a guy and then his like if he has older sisters like you know how older sisters can be because like rude sometimes yeah. and stuff yeah so i had this fear like oh, they, are they gonna they, like me are they yeah. gonna tell him not to be with me you no know? way yeah like, that's that fear. no way mm-hmm. that's crazy oh wow but um yeah, you guys are like super welcoming, super polite, and I was like, I don't know what to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then I was at your house like every day after that. <laughs> I know. I remember when you when you. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember a lot of situations. <laughs> <laughs> I remember certain things. And then I was just part of the family. And then you were like, say that. Yeah. Then you were the family, of course. Okay, so perfect answer. <laughs> Thanks. So I was welcoming. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Because okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask you the. Oh, go ahead and finish. But yeah, because you know, yeah, right. Like, there's um a lot of um older sisters that are, like, they make you feel like, like honestly, like, like we don't want you. Here. Yeah, we don't want you here. Like you're a witch or like mm-hmm. this, this and that. You know, like they think that they have their own opinions. Like you're not good for my brother. Yeah, you're not good enough. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm going to ask you the same question. Okay. Because it was my question to you. <laughs> I know. Same question. What was my first impression of you? I liked you a lot. I, you know what's crazy? I tend, to, I tend to like my brother's girlfriends a lot. A lot. Like, you're his wife basically now. Pretty so. much. So, I really liked you. I thought you were adorable because you were little. You I were was, little, Val. Nice. You were little, yes. Like, you had, you didn't do your makeup then. Remember, um... Um, you didn't like, yeah, you were like, yeah, because Alex is was older than you, she was 16, 17? 17. 17, yeah, and you were young now. When I saw you, I was like, I, I thought you were adorable, I loved you. Um, who I was a 10 year old in my house, uh, you know, yeah, because you look 10 years old, but for real, you look young because my brother has always been mature for his age, yeah, he tends Looking to look back like I, I really did. Yeah, like Alex tends to look um, sometimes older than he is. So that's why when I saw him next to you, I thought you were younger than him. I actually, but there was a time where I actually thought he had met you at, at um, OFL, no? No, actually we met on Facebook and then a few months after that is when he transferred into you. Uh, OFL? OFL, yeah. Oh, okay, UFL. okay. Okay, and then that's when you guys continue talking. Yeah, that's when we got really serious. Oh, okay, okay. Because we, we were always serious, but it was just like we took it to the next level. Yeah, when you guys used to have more communication, see yeah. each other more, huh? Yeah. yeah, I remember. But no, I really liked you. I really liked you. I, I liked you a lot when when things played out the way that they played out. I was I was excited. I was excited for you guys. I was like, no freaking way. Mm-hmm. And then you know, like I I like I've always liked you. Honestly, um, we've had we all families have their differences. We've had our differences. We do. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we can get on each other's nerves. We do. We are, we are normal. So we are human. Yeah, we are human. You know, but um, I liked you a lot. I still do. Like, you, like, it's just different that, like, I don't know. You're not that, sis, you know, so, like, I never, I, I, I honestly never thought of how will my sister-in-law be in the future, you know? Mm-hmm. I never thought about it. But um, getting to see that all my sisters-in-law are humble they're they're very welcoming they're very nice um yeah there's nothing really bad to say about you but i really liked you anyways the point has <laughs> i really liked you i did i did i did that's um period <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but i cannot talk but like in my lashes oh no like, i literally have to concentrate and, and me i lose my train of talk uh taught <laughs> I, I miss i lose my train of thought and i forget that i'm doing my makeup and i continue talking my lash looks like a little bit crazy on camera but in person it looks normal like look at um, it and then look at it I, I know it looks good what is it um how do you say it ah trust the process trust yeah, the trust process the process <laughs> 
Okay, so now it's my question. Okay, now I'm gonna look in Google because I didn't get all that far with my questions. I only got what. Or meanwhile, you look. I could ask you another one. Okay. Um. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Ten years. Okay, in ten years, I have. I pray to God that are we are successful. My my husband um, um, is starting his own electrical business. So we do. I have we, no idea. Yeah, he is um, with Everett. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. yeah. So he's starting his new, his new, his new um, business. So um, all goes well. God provides. Um, we we get successful with that. I do want to continue doing YouTube videos. So just I, I, all I see is like progress in life. You know, mm -hmm. like progress in YouTube, progress in my husband's. Um, um, business. I do help him out in the office. So, so um, you know, like progress just in everything. Progress in my office work. Progress in um, where our, the business will be at in ten years. We don't ask for um, riches. We just ask for stability. Oh, I like that. I like that. Period. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and supposedly me. I was supposed to be looking for the other question in Google. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. I'll look for it right now. Right now. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, ready? What food will you absolutely not under any circumstance eat? Food? Food. Food. Comidita. Octopus. Octopus? I like octopus. Mm -hmm. Like octopus. I don't like octopus. Hmm. Octopus. Because really? you know what like ruined it for me? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we were living with your mom. Um, she had got some and then Alex ate one. It was like a little octopus. Yeah. And he was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I think he, it's gonna be weird. He was like, oh the head popped. After that I was like, nope, not trying it. Oh, he's so mean. Oh my god. Men can seriously kill some some people's food, no? Uh-huh. Cause you know what's crazy? Okay, I know. I know it's common sense, right? But um tell me why when we used to eat tacos de lengua, we just oh, ate them. We just ate them, right? We didn't care about it, we didn't think about it. I don't know if you know where it comes from. You know where it comes from, right? Okay, so I won't mess it up for you. Okay. That's my favorite. Okay, so I I knew it came from a cow, but I just didn't know how the heck. I didn't I didn't click on me that the tongue was the tongue, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And I go and one day and we were eating tacos over there. Remember in um, LA where we where we always go with um, with Mike mm -hmm. and Alex yeah. for the mulitas. Mm -hmm. We have to go. We have to go once everything opens again. We have to go. Okay, so um, we have to go get mulitas, but. So that day we go eat mulitas, we were sitting down, everything was chill, we were eating. Tell me why we just started talking about um, where tacos, like the meat and everything, right? And all of a sudden Mike tells me, um, oh yeah, that that's, um, tacos are from a cow's tongue. Because we were talking about the parts of the of the cow that people eat. Uh -huh. and, and we were like, oh heck no, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. And then and then you look at the at the lengua and it actually looks like a tongue. Like it just looks like yeah. cooked tongue. So then we were like, oh heck no. Ever since then, we couldn't eat it anymore. Imagine knowing that you're eating the cow's tongue. Yeah. It's like eating your tongue. No, it's not it's eating. Kind of it's not like eating your tongue, but still it's <laughs> disgusting. Uh -huh. No, with me, like you kind of have to not tell me what it is. Before I eat it, because yeah. then my mind starts like going. Like, it starts playing tricks on you. Then I taste it. Like if you say it's a tongue, I'll taste the tongue. Oh my gosh, that's exactly yeah. how I am. Like that's why, like I tell, I'm telling you, like ever since Mike told me that it was a cow's tongue, which is co it's common sense, it's a cow's mm -hmm. tongue. But I, I didn't. Me and Jasmine didn't think of it like that. Jasmine till this day she won't eat um, tacos de lengua. Really? Well, yeah, neither will I. I, I can't. Okay. So let me find a next question. What's a really good question? I really, mm -hmm. I really want a juicy question. Okay, um, what emotion do you experience the most? Frustration. Frustration, why? <laughs> Your brother. <laughs> frustration? Um, frustration, yeah. No. 
Um, probably happiness. Happiness? Happiness. Because my kids are hilarious. Okay, okay. Um, Losing train of thought again, I see. Yeah. Intruders! I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, probably happiness. Happiness. Okay. okay. That's good. That's good. That's a good. You should always experience happiness. That's a good. Okay. Now you look for your questions for me. Okay. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me advance. Like <laughs> You're like, let me advance. Like, oh I haven't quite advanced. I know, and I'm over here taking it kind of slow, so I won't beat you. Okay. Not beat you, but... Finish my makeup before. What is one thing you cannot live without? One thing I can't live without. Like a thing. Like, like a thing, something. right? Yeah, like a thing. Um, a thing. I, Lord Jesus, it's a bad answer, but I think everybody can't live without their phone. Social media. I mean... <laughs> And then you phone calls and everything, so it'll probably yeah. be the phone. The phone, probably. That's probably the, same. the phone. And my turn. Okay, but we need a, like very um, good question. Mm -hmm. We need deep questions. Yes. Um. Hmm. Who has influenced you the most? Alex. Alex? Mm -hmm. In your life? Yeah. Alex? Mm-hmm. Really? I, I realized, like, now that I'm a little bit older, that I was very, very childish, and okay. then he kind of, like, brought out, like, the mature side of me. Okay. So, I would I say believe. Alex. Oh, Alex wow. Alex and my mom. Okay. I, I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. I believe I you. because most people, it's their mom. And I think so, but I believe you how you say that, Alex, because... Um, just like me that I'm already like um, living with um, Mike with my husband now that I'm living with him um, He has showed me to grow in a lot of situations Yeah, a lot of situations because if it were up to me I would probably have a completely different outcome mm -hmm. um, Then than just calming down and taking a second to see what's really going on. Yeah, like I agree. you know Ooh, That was a good one. Okay, you're done Take your time. What makes you feel most empowered? Mm, most empowered. Oh, that one's a part. That one's a really difficult one. Uh, it makes me feel empowered. Mm -hmm. Maybe being very independent, okay. like being very independent when it comes to a lot of situations, like towards my life, towards my decisions, um, like um, I don't know, liking to pro, uh, like to like liking or liking or, or like uh, I like to prosper a lot. So mm -hmm. um, that makes me feel very empowered when I feel like I'm actually doing something of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it does. It does. Okay. 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 Cool, 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 <laughs> cool. Okay, so my turn. Ugh. This is getting harder because I, I didn't prepare all the juicy questions. Oh, but I like the questions that Google gives me. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm on right now. Why are we on the same thing? Why? For real? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, there you go. You oh, for real? Okay, this one. This is a good question. What has been your best moment this year so far? I know even with all the coronavirus, it kind of sucks, all that situation and everything else is going on, but what, what, what has been your best moment? I don't know. Um, that's a good one. Huh, it gets you thinking. Yeah. I like the ones that get you thinking. Um, my best moment, oh my gosh, I'm crazy. <laughs> Moment. The best moment this year. 
I'm about to try like, to put on lashes. I think it's pretty much like a basic answer, like any like funny moment or like loving moment with me out with the kids. Okay. That's a good one. No, that's a good one. That's a good one. Family moments are usually the best. Mm -hmm. The I best think, I moments. think it would be that. Like any moment like with them. Okay. Any good moment. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I'm starting to get good ones. You are, because that one made me think. I'm telling you. I think I'm starting to get good ones. Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Ooh, okay. Excuse me. Um, to be honest, that is too high class of words for me. <laughs> Can you explain it okay, to me so in English? <laughs> introvert is like you like to keep to yourself, like you like to be alone. But an extrovert is like you're very outgoing, you're like very social, basically like that. Okay, um, I think I'm very social. What is it? An extrovert. Extrovert. I'm an extrovert. Because um, I like to be very social. I'm very communicative. Of course, I'm not at the beginning. Uh, I'm not. If I don't know you, I, I tend to be keep my ground and just stay like apart. Mm -hmm. Now, when I get to know you, I know, ow, I almost poked my eye. <laughs> When I get to know you and know who you are, where you're coming, your principles and stuff, mm -hmm. um, then I'll start like, oh, okay, like, hey, my name is Evelyn, like, how yeah. are you, like, how, you know? Okay. I would say the same probably about myself. Like, I'm very standoff. Like, I'm very standoff. Just, like, I won't, I won't approach you. Yeah. If that makes sense. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. I won't approach you. If you approach me and then we talk and then... No, I'm lying. Sometimes I approach, but it depends where, you know? It I'm depends where. I think it depends where. Like, you know, people at church are very social, they're very different, but unlike outside, you don't know where they come from, where, um, not where they come from, but um, if they like you, they want to talk to you, they don't want to talk, they don't right. talk, are they right. out, like, are they social, are they not social, like, what's the situation out there? Mm -hmm. Okay, my turn. Um, what would you like to change about yourself? Uh, my awkwardness. <laughs> what awkwardness? Explain. Cause Explain. okay, going back to the last question, like I I won't approach you, but if you do approach me and I don't know you, I can be very very awkward. Like very like very awkward. Like I feel like I'll say the wrong thing or like I start to stutter. <laughs> okay. So I would say like maybe my shyness. Too, okay. Cause, cause you want to be like a little bit more like talkative yeah, to be able to like talk. Yeah. Approachable. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. I like it. I like That's your good. answer. I've been liking your answers. You sound so freaking professional. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a deep one. Okay. If you had the option to know the the date and circumstance of your death, would you? No. 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 I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I don't know because um honestly I I just for what? Mm -hmm. For what? I like, feel like if I were to know it, like I would avoid those types of situations. Yeah. All my life. And, I and then the thing is that like if imagine knowing the time and like when you're gonna die and then you, um, God provides you with so much happiness and everything and then then you get all depressed and stuff because you're gonna yeah. die yeah I agree. we're gonna continue the rest of our makeup off camera because we kind of don't have any more questions huh we kind of didn't prepare that long <laughs> of a video so we'll be right back with the with the finished look okay guys we've come to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A slash get ready with me featuring my sister-in-law. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for having me here. Yeah. And remember to follow me on Instagram. It'll be right here. And in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember to tell your tia, your tia, your grandma, your grandpa, your bisabuelo, your abuelo, your cousins, your friends, your enemies. Remember to tell everybody to tune in. And thank you again very much. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys. God bless you.